Summer has passed so quickly. It's hard to believe that autumn is just around the corner. It feels like it was just yesterday when we were dreaming of the warm summer days ahead. And now here we are, about to welcome in a new season. As this summer is about to come to a close, we found ourselves asking this question. Did we enjoy summer enough? Did we allow ourselves to take a break? Did we allow ourselves to take away some of the pressure we've placed on ourselves? Did we step outside, feel the warmth of the sun, and feel the ground beneath our feet? Did we allow ourselves to enjoy these wonderful, magical moments in nature? Did we celebrate the warmth and beauty of summer? In looking back at our summer, we wanted to share a few of the most special moments here in the mountains. And as we look back at these days spent high up in these majestic peaks, we've realized how all the moments spent here in the mountains, surrounded by nature, change you. You may not notice it in the moment, but slowly over time, each experience in nature gently seeps into your soul, bringing its calmness, its strength, its fragility, its wisdom, its sacredness, and its peace. So we send all our love to you all across the world, and we hope you have been enjoying some of these special summer moments and we hope you enjoy these moments with us in nature. After such a short time even, we like feel these kind of magical benefits yes. um, very quickly mm -hmm. from it. But I was sharing this story with you of this amazing artist, this woman in Sweden. Uh -huh. And she lives in the forest in Sweden. And she was basically from a very young age just in love with nature uh -huh. and the natural world. And then as she got older you know people started telling her what she needed to do and she really struggled with like honestly so kind of like anxiety yeah so there's such a thing in sweden as booking the forest wow, so booking yeah the forest. yeah they say wow. go to the forest to heal and so she yes. went into the forest and I, she found a cabin wow. so she went 
25 years later, she never left. Oh my gosh. She's happy and she's whole and she's healed and she's an amazing artist. <laughs> <laughs> but. You, you know, when you talk about that, it's like the, nature sort of gives back so much. Yeah. You know, like there's so much beauty, there's so much peace. And. And I think it's something I've been thinking about is everything that nature does for us, yeah. right? Yeah. And this was something that she brought up. She went in the forest and she healed. Then the trees started dying around her from the bark beetle. Oh. So she said, you know, this forest healed me. I need to in turn heal the forest. Yeah, heal the forest, yeah. So she started rewilding the forest by planting wow. trees and rewilding wow. the forest. But I was thinking, you know, I think we take nature for granted too much. I, I do, I agree. And what can we do for nature? We can help sustain it. Oh. This is really cool. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys, there's so many skis. Wow. Good job. <laughs> All natural. All the mosquitoes are running away now. <laughs> it's so cool making your own, isn't it? It's the best making yeah. your own. You know what's in it. I wasn't taping, but now I'm taping. It's raining, just feel that for a minute. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, it's a big blessing. It's alpine yeah. rain. Alpine. But uh, it's, it's, it's more than a drizzle. It definitely is. <laughs> and these, these hills, you can see these hills behind us. Um, you see that right there? Uh, these, these were like snow, like just like a week ago, so. The time out the rain's coming oh, down hard <laughs> yeah it started getting harder so we're just like hiding under a tree yeah and it helps it makes a huge difference well, i am so thankful for these trees oh my god look it's at the really ground healthy. is just dry. dry yeah i'm so thankful for these trees right now i mean we were get, it was getting pretty wet yeah
You know, and, and Elizabeth said, said, look, it's like hail. There's a little bit of hail coming down too, so that's what yeah. can happen in the Rocky we're gonna, Mountains. We're going to run back. Okay guys, now Ooh. we've reached a whole new level yeah. of wet. <laughs> my feet are freezing. Oh no. Oh my gosh. I to take them off. No, I just want to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the guys, this is just a whole new level. But um, I'll tell you something, there was a bit of current to that river yeah, still. There was. You had to, you had to brace. <laughs> Yeah. Brace yourself, it is stronger than I anticipated. And that river is actually down from where it was, so yeah. luckily for us. We probably us, wouldn't have done that a couple weeks ago, to be honest. No, you might have went flying. <laughs> Day two. <laughs> a little less we're rain. Dry. Dry, yes, we made it. So far, so good. Yeah. So we're on our way to a secret lake in the mountains. And, uh, you know, if we don't get too distracted by all the beauty, share it with you. we will.
you're on top of the world. Mountains. So we're trying a new thing, uh, hiking in our dresses. Look at so Elizabeth. So let's take a, let's take the full. <laughs> yes. So tell us, you got the, the REI. Uh, so I have the REI uh, peasant dress. Peasant dress. <laughs> <laughs> Off-shoulder peasant yes. dress. Yes. With the uh, filming backpack. Mm, perfect. But what really does it oh, is the old. Wow sneakers yeah yep gotta have those so, <laughs> guys go out and get your 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 new mountain outfit exactly swiss swiss alps uh <laughs> it's glamorous <laughs> guys you're really seeing the behind the scenes <laughs> guys just would not believe what we just have been through. Oh. But we're not going to, we got to keep going, so. It's a big river crossing. We'll catch up. I think up. we should go through there, but we'll hang on to each other. Okay. I think we could both, I could do this pretty well. Okay. 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 Yeah, maybe it's yeah, those logs? Yeah, those logs. I think somewhere down there. Could we scoot down that log? We might be able to. Everybody. We're not sure which way to go yet. I mean, you could almost look at that. That could be really. Uh, I don't know how deep that is. Right. Yeah, that, that was too deep. This is 
up there. There's a moose behind us. So we feel like we better right like, go pretty, pretty fast. Oh wait, there's not crossing. Maybe we better get across and get down the trail. Maybe it's going further up. He doesn't like it either. I think we gotta go through this. Alright, let's go. Yeah. Uh, Whoa. Which river crossing was worse? Keep walking because of the moose. Uh, oh, I think that one was. Well, the first one. The first one was really kind of scary and, and very powerful. But it went fast. Fast. This one was like, God, when I was halfway across straddling that log. Oh. I know. <laughs> the sun is out. <sighs> we made it across the river. That was. <laughs> We didn't capture the first river crossing because it was it was really close, but we almost went flying down the river. But what you saw in that second one was a little like the first one. Yeah, it was intense. <laughs> so, so we're gonna go back. Get some dry clothes time. on. Dry clothes. Thanks, guys. Peace. Love you.